Guys, it's your friend Time Wing here. Welcome back to Tea Talk Sketching with Time Wing. And in this episode, I'm gonna sketch mm, something's different. Not a gown, not a dress, but a really cool jumpsuit. So cool that not only one person wore it, but two wore it. Two beautiful, beautiful ladies wore it to two different occasions. First, I would like to introduce actress Sarah Bolger. She wore this jumpsuit to the All American movie premiere. So fresh, so young, and so chic. The second person, she is gorgeous, an actress, and she wore the same jumpsuit to the InStyle magazine party. Kara Santana! Ta da! You can see the same jumpsuit on two beautiful, beautiful, beautiful ladies. Now let's start sketching. Who's your gown by? Ty Nguyen. This jumpsuit is made out of silk four-ply crepe. It's so smooth, so feels so good to wear. It's so expensive. You see the top with all the hand beading. It's like an abstract pattern beading with rectangular sequins, iridescent black, gunmetal gray, silver, and white sequin. All hand beaded. The total hours of hand beading is about of this top. This, the top part only, I think about 200 hours. It's sequin by sequin, beads by beads. I love anything that's abstract and you don't literally see what it is. It leaves room for imagination. What do you think this pattern? Please comment below. I would love to hear your opinion, how you interpret it. A lot of women love jumpsuits. Am I right? According to the market, there are not enough jumpsuits out there for the women. Jumpsuits that are well-made, well-tailored, well-fitted. A jumpsuit fit. It looks easy, but it's not easy. You gotta have the right cut to show the best part of your body, to show your figure. To have a really good jumpsuit, you need to have really good measurements. Every measurement must hit at the right place. I think a jumpsuit makes a woman feel longer, leaner. Every woman, I mean every man, every woman, everyone including myself, want to feel taller, longer, and leaner. So why not wear a jumpsuit all the time, and especially jumpsuit with pockets. <laughs> this jumpsuit is actually very sexy because it's the v-neck in the front and the v-neck in the back. It's really, really sexy. There's a lot of double-sided tape. <laughs> okay, first thing first, let's get the silhouette down with my number two pencil.
Because it's a jumpsuit, so you have to hit it at the waist, the smallest part of the body, to create that waist, that small, small waist, cinch that waist. So when you look at this jumpsuit, you think it's a top in a high-waisted pants, but it's actually a jumpsuit. We cut this pants in a wide leg silhouette, so it's kind of balanced out when you have fitted body on top, and you kind of want to have that flare out. In my opinion, a wide leg pants looks very elegant. It fits for the occasion. And I think that's the reason why they picked to wear a jumpsuit because it's comfortable, it's young, but yet it's still elegant. If you look in a detail shot carefully, there's a strap in the back right here to kind of hold the top together because when construction-wise, technical-wise, when you have a top that is deep V in the front and deep V in the back, it tends to fall out. There's a strap in the back just for security. I think we got the silhouette down of the jumpsuit front and back. Let's do skin tone. And they are both kind of light skin, so I'm just gonna go with this light peach color for their skin tone. as the base of the skin tone and the pants is white so we can't really do anything to the white what i always do with the white is i use a little gray to create the shadow because if you look in the photo you see let's say where the lighting is hit 
it's like a little shadow gray so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go in with the gray to create shadow the silhouette of the white pants I used the 20% gray, it's not really dark enough. I think I'm gonna go in do a little darker gray, like 40%. That's the gray. Now I'm gonna go in and do the same. I think I'm gonna use the gray to do certain part of the top is gray. So we leave some parts white and then I'm gonna go in with some gray and then black is the last part. Because it's abstract, so really you there's no right or wrong to create the pattern. It's kind of like whatever you can see with your eyes and just create that pattern. So we got some gray gunmetal sequin. Now I'm gonna do some black. If you look carefully, the sequin is actually like black rectangular sequin. So I'm just gonna go in with this fine point, fine point black and just kind of do the black lines. And really they kind of like stick out all over the place randomly that's what I like and I design thing I like it abstract I like it asymmetrical I don't like it too balanced because it's just not fun when it's off balance and kind of random and spontaneous I think that's fun it's I think that's what life is about right don't you think so I think when it comes to design or creating, it's really do what you feel good, do what comes from your heart. I don't think there are any rules, right or wrong, when it comes to creating arts. It really has to come from you, from your heart, from your soul. If I feel that's right, that's right. How should I say this? You cannot please everybody out there when you're creating something. Someone will love it and someone will not love it. And that's fine. Just know in life, you cannot please everyone. What's important is you please yourself and be happy. I'm gonna go in and do some lines and shapes with this fine point pen.
Now I'm gonna go in with a sharpie, clean out all the, the silhouette and all the details. This little piping with the white silk fabric, it's a really nice detail, it's kind of clean edge, it gives you that long line for your bodice, and it's like defined the silhouette and the line on a woman's body. I think it's so pretty, and I have to give prop to my sewer. To sew that perfect clean line is with silk fabric is not easy, and she did an amazing job. Thank you! Give her a little red lips. And I want to define her skin a little bit more, a little bit more contour. Let's give a little shadow where she's standing. And last but not least, my signature. I think I want to give her some little silver because there's some silver sparkle sequin. So let's add some. I really like sparkle. <laughs> Who doesn't?
little shimmer shimmer Let's do some black, just a little. Not too much. No, it's too much. Now let's erase the unwanted pencil mark. And here's the finished product. A little white jumpsuit, abstract, silver, gray, gunmetal, black beading. See, you can see a little shimmer. Can you see that little shimmer? Sarah Bolger wore to the All-American movie premiere. Tara Santana wore to the in-style party with her her man in this jumpsuit. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy. Any of you out there who love to sketch, I would love to see your sketch. Maybe share your page in the comments below so I can check it out. You know, as an artist, we always must support each other. I would love to meet and interact with all the artists. Please share your comments below. Follow and subscribe each other. Thank you. Bye. Thank you for taking your valuable time to watch my channel. I know there are many, many different choices out there for you to watch. But since you took out your time to watch my channel, and if you want to see more of me, please subscribe to my channel. And again, be sure to stay true to who you are, be yourself, have fun, life is too short, and live for fashion, set the trend. Thank you for watching. See you again in the next clip.